Hello everyone and welcome back to another dev stream. So let us know if you can hear us and we will jump right in. Cool. Wow, that uh, was so fast. <laughs> uh, Alright, again. Uh, hello everyone, I'm Pirit, I work as a producer on Vigor and today I'm here with Zbigniew and Joanny, uh, our senior hello. producer and lead programmer. Uh, as always, we will start with a brief introduction of what you do in the Vigor team mm -hmm. and, and stuff like that. So, who wants to start? Basically, do the same thing that you do now, but longer. <laughs> 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 wow. Oh, no, really, like uh, production trying to organize uh, chaos a little bit and mm -hmm. yeah, that's it, <laughs> in short. That was very short. It's, that it's was true. Even shorter. It's you said it should be longer, and now it's shorter. <laughs> Too much. Okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm Johanny. I'm the programmer on Vigor, which consists of supervising all the programming that goes on for the game, I guess. Mm -hmm. Servers, gameplay, tools around the game. So, you know, we have better tools to make the game, that kind of stuff. Cool. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. Thank cool. you for the brief introductions. Um, anyway, as you have seen in the title of this video and pretty much everywhere, today re we released a new update, 12.1. Uh, so as always, we are bringing you a new Legacy Season. This time it's Trappers, Legacy Season number Yo. 8. Nice. Um, so we will be covering basically what is new. We will look at the Legacy Season. We will look at the fixes, quality of life changes and stuff like that. And of course, if you have any questions, make sure to put them in the chat as well and we will try to answer them. We will. Uh, alrighty, so uh, I will just quickly go through what is new. Uh, as always, you can find uh, an article on our website regarding like everything about the update, so you can check it out, vigorgame.com, it's always uh, and when it comes to the changelog, you can find it on our website as well. We won't be covering all of it, so make sure to give it a read. Uh, we will be mostly covering the biggest changes or like the stuff that was requested or reported by the community, by you guys. Uh, so uh, if we will move to what is actually new, uh, we have a huge pool of challenges. Which is pretty exciting. Yeah, yeah it's a good expansion. Uh, also, something that was highly requested, and uh, it is the new report system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it took us a while, uh, but it's finally here. Yeah, yeah all super excited. Uh, also, drop shotting was mitigated, mm -hmm. which is mostly thanks to you, Johnny, right? You My team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My team. But yeah, I guess most of the credit goes to, well, most of the credit goes to us for implementing it and mm -hmm. the credit for adding it to the list of things in 12.1 goes to Archie, I would say, because mm -hmm. he was like really not compromising with that mm -hmm. and he was constantly telling us, we need to do something about it. Mm. And he was like yeah, very yeah, persistent, very persistent. So yeah, in the end we were like, okay, you're right, it's a <laughs> big issue and yeah. <laughs> we need to do something about it. Um, <laughs> Nice. Then we reworked the sticker functionality. Uh, we also improved our game guide. Mm -hmm. It's mm. amazing. I feel like it's 100 times better than it was before. So new players, this is for you. Um, we also updated the UI for our elimination mode. Uh, Legacy season, as I already said. And we also have a new premium pack. Expedition Absolution, so you can check that out as well. And as I said, there is a bunch of fixes, so we will be covering them as well. Uh, but first things first, we can probably look at the Legacy Season, right? Or like, do you, what do you want to start with, guys? I will quickly switch to the game, and we can. I guess we can proceed in the order of all of you you've mentioned. Mm -hmm. So what was first? Uh, uh, challenges. 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 Oh, challenges. Oh, okay. Was challenges. I thought it was the Legacy Season. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, we've had it. How many? One hundred twenty-six new challenges. Uh, I guess that's the exact number. If it's mm -hmm. not, then you can uh, comment, mm -hmm. or, like <laughs> bully us on Reddit. 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, please don't. <laughs> it's too much. But yeah, we are so, very sensitive. Yeah, the, the, the key thing here is that there is many systems that were added after challenges were implemented in the game and mm -hmm. for a while there was like only challenges about the systems that were here, the first time challenges were yeah. implemented. Mm. So mm -hmm. uh, the new game modes like shootout, or newer game modes, shootout and elimination, they didn't have any challenges in them because they mm -hmm. didn't exist back then when we first introduced the challenges. Same with a lot of things. So now there is uh, challenges for shootout, challenges for elimination. Mm -hmm. There is even some uh, challenges for feature scene encounters such as the red chest or mm -hmm. like phone duel. Uh, yeah, a ton of new challenges. So now more of the systems that actually exist in the, in the game mm -hmm. uh, well, they have challenges related to them, so it brings a lot of variety, and some of them are like really quite challenging. Like one one new one that I like particularly is like you need to survive five minutes in shootout. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's pretty challenging, challenging, challenge, and that yes. really like forces you to play the game differently because usually in shootout you're mm -hmm. just like going around and shooting everybody, mm -hmm. but that kind of gives you a side quest in shootout where. You don't just want to make the most kills, but you can go and shoot out and have that objective of just surviving mm -hmm. and finding a way to survive. Uh, so yeah, that brings some variety into the game and making like things in the game more fun, I guess, on a daily basis. Oh yeah, yeah. these are daily challenges. Mm -hmm. There's still something to do. What do you mean? Oh yeah, well, yeah. With, with challenges like like oh, yeah, there's like plenty overall, of them, yeah, and, and yeah. you can yeah, yeah. you can experience them even in other game modes than mm. an encounter, it's definitely good for the game and for players. Yeah. So. And you can also mm -hmm. see that we have been working on the system for quite a while because we implemented the first uh, changes in the previous updates. Yeah, so even the one before, I think. Yeah, yeah, it I, I think so too. back from 11 to, uh -huh. like the first challenge, uh, yeah, the yeah, UI yeah. was updated in mm -hmm. 11.2. And also just a minor thing, but they look much cooler now. I mean, with like yeah. different, you know, names for the challenges and stuff like that. Before it was really like uh, super uh, generic. Super yeah, generic. Exactly. Yes. Now Starry. the system is more fledged. Exactly. Cooler. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, this was for the challenges. If you have any questions regarding the challenges, please put them in the chat. Uh, and what was the next thing that we wanted to cover? Yes, the new report system. I can see already many questions in the chat. Yes. Time. Yeah, if you want to pick any questions, please go ahead if you already okay. see something. Uh, well, <laughs> okay, not specifically. Or, I mean, they are asking questions about the NMGs. So, mm -hmm. do we have any updates on the NMG stuff? Not in 12.1, I think. Yeah, yeah exactly. Or like minor stuff? No. Okay. Don't think so. No. <laughs> Okay. You don't think so. Brace uh, but for example, when it comes to the radiation grenades, which is uh, one of the questions that I can yes. see, uh, mm -hmm. there was a lot of feedback initially, like even before the update was released, and mm -hmm. um, the community was like really divided. Uh, I would say that recently we aren't getting like that much feedback on them at all. Uh, and even if there is any feedback, usually people don't complain that much about like dying from them or something yeah. because the, there's really not that many of them in the encounters mm -hmm. and, and you can avoid them pretty easily and also we changed something in 12.1 in this regard mm -hmm. yeah yeah uh, so we're not like changing the radiation grenade but to balance the radiation mechanic we're making mm -hmm. iodine uh, we're dropping the rarity to, to military, grade. military grade so it means you can bring more iodine in, in matches and you can craft them more easily mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, there was quite strong fear uh, before mm -hmm. previous release when yeah, yeah. radiation grenades uh, has been introduced mm -hmm. and but so far the community you guys haven't been complaining about them a lot so mm -hmm. Uh, we had that uh, implementation of iodine in mind for a longer time, so mm -hmm. it can balance the thing, but uh, let us know if, if you feel like it's already balanced, maybe, and mm -hmm. with, with the iodine interaction, like, how do, how do you feel about that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Nice. Always listening. 
Uh, I can already see people discussing the report system, so without any further ado, I think that we can jump right into it. Um, this is basically something that we have been looking into for quite a while. It, yeah. It's obviously a bi big system, it's, it's a lot of work and we also need to like balance it correctly. Uh, so usually in the past we were uh, thinking of ways how to avoid it like altogether if someone was like cheating or like yeah. you know using oh. the, s the system we've noticed that there way. was a race mm -hmm. of toxic behavior cheaters in the game so mm -hmm. this is one of the answer we have for these things yes uh, and yeah so the report system works in a way that you can report players from the previous match you've played yes, for various yes. reasons mm -hmm. and then on our back end we can keep track of the reports and what's happening we have some kind of system to see like mm -hmm. what's happening how many reports are generated and such um, one question I've seen is like about the false report oh um, yeah, yeah yeah like mass reporting yeah. and stuff like that we have a system in place uh, that we can use that we could use where we can limit the amount of reports that players are doing per day. So, for now, we decided to trust players. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And not use that system. So, it means you can report as many players as you want during one day. But uh, if we see that there is too many uh, false reports and that, like, mm -hmm. too much reports in general for, like, not so big issues we will put some limits so mm -hmm. players won't be able to just report players for yeah. free like but you will have yeah yeah but you are looking at it from the like providing end yeah. from the person that is reporting but there are also many concerns about yeah. people getting reported mm -hmm. for being too good and not right. actually cheating which is also something that we obviously thought about yeah. i mean mm -hmm. yeah, i i have seen so many questions about that under the, the videos and and on the reddit mm -hmm. But uh, most of these questions and comments were fear of players yes. to get reported because they are good and and then they they fear that they have to face com consequences of that. Mm -hmm. Like literally, they are afraid, or you are afraid, guys, that you will be punished for good gameplay. Mm -hmm. We are aware of uh, the situation that may occur, and for that uh, reason, we have implemented some some countermeasures and we will initiate investigation if there is a lot of uh, reports of, of cheating for example but uh, it will be like really investigation is not like that some person will get automatically banned on, uh, on mm -hmm. or something we will we will look at it it's mm -hmm. not like that it's like yeah. automatic mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not banning anyone automatically. Yeah. There will always be someone to look into it, trying to make sure that the ban, oh, the report is founded. Exactly. And that, yeah. yeah. We, we would like to avoid any false positivity at any cost, basically. Mm -hmm. For the for the yeah, cheating, yeah, yeah. like report. for example, someone was asking like if you can ban, if you can get banned for crouching up and down over a body or something. I mean, like, Jesus, we are not children. Why would we do all. that? And uh, second of all, no, like the banning is not automatic. We will always investigate the report. Yeah. Cool. So uh, I'm I'm sure that there will be more questions along the way, but let's just. Uh, continue with what's new because this is not the only thing uh, that we released and we are getting to drop shooting like you already kind of started but did I? Can, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah with like that your team was working on it so oh, yeah, let's just true. yeah okay <laughs> um, yes so basically we now when you're drop shooting the spread of your weapon mm -hmm. will increase to try and balance the things not make it too OP Mm -hmm. uh, many players are saying that it's not enough and that we should just stop players from being mm -hmm. able to shoot while you're going into prone but actually the, the reason why we didn't uh, do it is because mm -hmm. even in real life you can press the trigger of a weapon in any case mm -hmm. and I guess this explains more of the changes we've done in this update and I will have a small mention for the jump shooting now uh, mm -hmm. basically any time in real life where you could be able to press the trigger of your weapon uh, mm -hmm. 
like we wanted to remove or at least not add new blockings to those like in real life you can press the trigger of your weapon anytime and so and your aim won't be uh, good in most the use of weapon will be terrible in such situations yes, but you yes, can yeah. still like, do it if you're like running and jumping mm -hmm. you cannot like shoot properly and this mm -hmm. is why we are uh, yeah and so the design behind all of this is in real life you can press the trigger anytime so mm -hmm. we wanted to have the same thing in the game uh, and drop shooting is part of that. We didn't want it to just mm -hmm. stop the shooting when you're changing your stance because uh, it doesn't feel really natural, but we wanted to still have something that would uh, combat the drop shooting. So yeah, the spread increase is the answer for now. If it's not enough, then we'll reconsider, but for now mm -hmm. that's what we settled on. Mm -hmm. And similar reasons for the jump shooting. Like yeah. We mm -hmm. decided to enable it because it makes no sense that you couldn't press the trigger of your gun when you're in air. Mm -hmm. In real life, you can. And also, drop shooting is not like a fun mechanic. Yeah. Because if you're getting drop shot, mm -hmm. drop shot it at, it's really like, it's difficult to react to this. Yeah, you don't have much time to, to yes. yeah, and it gives like really the guy that is doing that, the, mm -hmm. the player that is doing that, an unfair advantage because they like suddenly they have a very small hitbox and they have mm -hmm. super uh, tight spread so it makes the makes the shooter uh, the shooter gets an unfair mm -hmm. advantage uh, and jump shooting on the other hand is I think cool it's a cool mechanic because it will allow players to do things they couldn't do in the past like mm -hmm. jump from roof like you could ambush other players in a way and try and shoot at them like it's I think it will bring some uh, new way to show your skill in the mm -hmm. outlands so yeah I think it's trick shots yeah. trick, trick shots videos mm -hmm. hopefully <laughs> you can flex on the reddit I see an info <laughs> um, I see an interesting question like why are the consumables the same color if they are disassembled have and they have different value of materials like if you disassemble them I think that they are talking about variety of consumables, which also like reflects something different. Like it mm -hmm. also reflects how many consumables you can, for example, take into one encounter. Yeah. So we have to differentiate it somehow, and I think that this is more important than the amount of materials that you can get for each of them. To be fair, when it comes to the variety and differentiating it. Uh, I don't know, it's like a game balance question and I'm yeah. not the first person to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, uh, can, we can bring that to... Yeah, we can, we can definitely bring yeah. it up. I mean, it's not yeah. an issue, but... This is the first time I'm hearing that someone is not happy with it, actually. Mm -hmm. So, like, it's not brought up a lot, so that's... Uh, that's why we weren't yeah, yeah. really, like, discussing it up until now. We can definitely bring it up to the team. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely we can mm -hmm. discuss it with, with our design team, we can look at the uh, analytics and, and see how it currently looks like. Uh, so far it hasn't been mm -hmm. like complained about, uh, so so we didn't focus on that because we have uh, full hands of other stuff uh, we can focus on to make game better, but mm -hmm. in case that it's concern of players let us know and and uh, if, if like it's general concern we can look at it and make yeah. some adjustments uh, also I just wanted to address a few discussions that are going on in the chat right now like obviously um, you guys the community as always you are a bit divided when it comes to the report system and like how is it how is it going to work I mean obviously there are many games out there that have bad report systems that can get abused uh, but we really try to avoid that first of all second of all I still think that it's much better to have it than to not have it at all mm. uh, which is also something that we were heavily discussing for example with our partners like everyone up until now was always in favor of report system than not having it I mean mm. it's it, it just makes sense and we are doing everything in our power to you know, like, not let people fake report, to investigate each report. Also, like, it's it's a bit different than you, when you AFK elimination game and when yeah. 
you clearly use something in the encounter or like uh, are cheating in the encounters. Uh, so we were thinking about all of those things and hopefully it will work out. Obviously, uh, we are waiting for your feedback as well. Like we implemented it just now. I mean, it has been out for six hours now or something. Yeah, so yeah, just give it time, yes. try it out. You, you will see if you even need it, right? Because it's also up to you guys how much you will use it in, in what cases and so on. Mm -hmm. Eventually we can, as always, as with anything, tweak it in, in the future. But for now we have to try it. Yeah. yeah. There is no other way. And we are waiting for feedback mm -hmm. as well. We will see how how you guys are using it. Mm -hmm. So based on that, we, we can proceed with next steps maybe. Mm -hmm. So let us know. I saw their like nice nice yeah. comment that they would mm -hmm. like to have uh, distance markers on the shooting range. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's a long like requested thing. Oh well, yeah, that's true. It's like. It's it's not like the priority. It, it won't change the game, but at the same time, it would be a really nice yeah. like um, life improvement change, sort of kind of. Cool. We can bring it up. Mm -hmm. All right. What was next in the update? Uh, sticker functionality. Oh, this is a big one actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Let me take a look <laughs> at my notes <laughs> because there was a ton of changes on this. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. So okay, another design philosophy change that we dis we did uh, in this update is that mm -hmm. generally speaking we hate taking the control away of the player from the, mm -hmm. from the character and the old stagger was doing just that meaning that you would lose the control over your character for uh, two seconds which is not something great in a video game it's supposed to be interactive right mm -hmm. uh, and that would take the interactivity away and that's not what we wanted uh, but we wanted to preserve stagger uh, anyway because it's a good mechanic or uh, it had the potential to be a good mechanic and mm -hmm. also it was like part of the game balance and the weapon like some weapon are not that great but because they have the potential to mm -hmm. stagger it's a good thing to do. so we didn't want it to just remove stagger mm -hmm. so we decided to rework it um, and the way we rework it, reworked it is by uh, changing a lot of uh, things on the stagger. So now the stagger is longer from two seconds to three seconds. Uh, and there will be a range of effects that will basically impede your character, but you will mm -hmm. still be able to use to control the character. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, you will have a blurred vision increased uh, weapon spread, um, slower movement, mm -hmm. uh, all those things. Uh, and I think there is also some sound effects uh, that yeah. will play when mm -hmm. you get staggered. Uh, and yeah, another big change is that crouch no longer protects you from stagger. So you will still receive some of the negative effects mm -hmm. of stagger when you're crouching, which is different from before where if you would crouch you would be immune to stagger which mm -hmm. didn't really make sense actually uh, that was more a technical limitation back then because uh, we didn't have any animation uh, ready to play when you're in crouch mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. and to show the stagger when you're in crouch state um so yeah that's, the, 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 that's the, 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 the new sound effect will not be in this update oh it's it, not my bad it will be in the next one okay so spoiler, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, it's uh, not not like big deal, but mm -hmm. we want it to yeah, to polish okay. it. Mm -hmm. And another one is that when you're in prone, uh, you will uh, also receive some maleses from the stagger. Uh, mm -hmm. It won't change your speed and weapon spread, but it will. Uh, play some, it will add some post-process effect to the camera and such. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. New stagger. Thank you, thank you. For the new stagger. Nice. Uh, moving on, what else is new? Um, yeah, so we already covered the stagger, drop shooting, game guide. Game guide. Game guide. We can yeah, actually look at it as well. It's been, yeah, you can show it. It's, mm -hmm. been, it's been a long 
journey to to get this one quite mm -hmm. quite long yeah 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 because we wanted to do something which will be actually useful and mm -hmm. and easy to orientate is easy to navigate in uh, oh, if, yeah, if you are yeah. looking for some specific mm -hmm. area uh, of and, and topics you should be able to to easy spot it that's why we have mm -hmm. there also uh, like highlighted uh, parts of the description and so on and so on uh, especially for new players some of these uh, mechanics has been till now quite obscured and mm -hmm. they, they had to experience it and they tried to figure out what, what actually happened or uh, find it uh, on the internet and oh, yeah. we believe that it should be the information should be in the game yes. it's uh, there mainly for new players but I believe that uh, even some experienced players can find there mm -hmm. some some useful information yes, and absolutely. you can you can find it uh, next to the option uh, menu or is mm -hmm. guide and on the sandbar you can pick whatever you want to see and explore so mm -hmm. basically this and we were working hard also to make uh, the text as clear as possible so mm -hmm. so even new players can understand what is going on Definitely. yeah that's basically uh, like there is not much to to talk about the game guide it should mm -hmm. be useful on its yeah. own but it's it's not like game changing mechanic but definitely nicer inter interaction for new yeah. players mm -hmm. yeah. and we felt yeah exactly that it would be beneficial for new players arriving in the game to be able to have like mm -hmm. a good source of information of all the things in the game and such like there is really a lot uh, to see and read and explain like mm -hmm. I don't know uh, how old our community is but you know mm -hmm. it's if, if we would be like a box game that's probably all that is in the guide would be in that you know booklet that mm -hmm. would be in the box uh -huh. back yeah, in the yeah, days yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wow, it's been a very long time I've yeah. seen it before. Mm -hmm. um, I miss those actually. Also, since we were uh, mentioning new players quite a lot, and I can see uh, um, one person that is repeating uh, his question like clearly frustrated, uh, so I would like to address it. Uh, but they feel like. Um, that all of the updates are in favor of certain group of players, the ones with no skill. Which is something that I just like quickly wanted to address what? because yeah, we see it from time to time and it's a bold claim. It's it's a bold claim and also like the same thing as we can have a tunnel vision, right? I mean you have been working on one game for, for yeah. years. Uh, I think that it goes the same for the community as well. I mean you are focusing on the stuff that you are using a lot or you want to be improved right but mm -hmm. even if you look at this update which i have to stress again is a minor update uh there is the legacy season which is for the players that been able to play it and they have the currently going on battle pass and all of the legacy seasons we introduced the report system which is something that our old community requested yeah. for ages now we have a huge pool of new challenges, which is for everyone. I yeah, basically. Mm. New, new it's players, like to same vary as, the um, gameplay for everyone. Yes, so... so the, the jump shooting, like, like it, mm -hmm. it requires skill. New players doesn't have that skill. They, they are happy that they can aim from the crouch. Mm -hmm. But if, if somebody is really experienced and yes. uh, with controller and with this type of game, like these are the players who will uh, really appreciate it. So mm -hmm. so it's not like just for new players. Yes, we are uh, focusing also on new players because they are having like hard time uh, with you guys who already mastered the game. But uh, <laughs> on, the, on the other hand, uh, we are really trying to balance it to introduce also stuff for uh, players who are already in the game for mm -hmm. some while. Yes, exactly. So like we always <coughs> try to balance it. But once again, this is a minor <coughs> update, so we were focusing right. on the stuff that was long in the works or stuff that mm -hmm. we wanted to improve, rather than adding like a bunch of, of new shiny stuff. Or for new, new maps, yeah, which yeah, we yeah. were introducing uh, like recently quite frequently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, that's that. Uh, I just wanted to point it out and we can proceed with, uh, with our showcase of the update. Uh, yay! Elimination mode UI updates. Uh, I mean, we changed the elimination a lot mm -hmm. in in twelve point zero. 
uh, and we are still like receiving feedback, still looking at all of the new things, also checking out data. Uh, but we wanted to tweak at least something in 12.1, so we decided to go with this one. Uh, but we are still watching you guys, how you play, what do you, how do you feel about like the loadouts, you know, stuff like that. So we are still working on it. Yep. Yeah. Maybe we should jump into some designation match. Yeah. Maybe we should. Okay. Maybe we should. <laughs> we I just I, I the didn't. Changes. Uh, I did didn't take my glasses, but I can show you the changes we made. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, and again, uh, I was hoping for. And then for on the anniversary thing, yeah, I, uh, actually our anniversary is in a month now or something, like less than a month actually. Less than a month, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And we always do something for the anniversary, so it's pretty clear that we will be doing something this year as well. Uh, we can't disclose too much, uh, maybe on the next stream, like most likely. Are you absolutely. on the update preview? Mm. No. No. Wait, what's that? What? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. They're just connecting. Okay. Yeah. Fine. yeah, yeah. Fine. I was like, okay. Got scared. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. I have to leave the stream and fix a bunch of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> Luckily not. Uh, yeah, we can look at it. And uh, if you have like any any feedback you would like to throw at us regarding um, elimination, feel free to do so. I mean, since we are already si sitting here and we will be playing a few rounds. Um, okay, there is a question, sorry. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, what does this mean? Added option to unlock a loadout without having bought any tickets. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, th it's uh, like a new booster that is in elimination that you can use. Mm -hmm. uh, so... You I shouldn't have bought yeah, it. Yeah, well, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's fine. So basically, if you find yourself in a situation where you're losing and you want to get an edge mm -hmm. over the uh, opposing team, you can now spend crowns directly during the match to unlock a loadout. Mm -hmm. Right? So even if you didn't purchase tickets in the lobby phase, you can now still yeah. unlock mm -hmm. uh, a loadout mm -hmm. after, after the fact. So yeah, that's the explanation. So you don't have to buy all your tickets in advance. I've just mm -hmm. seen one comment. I would love friendly fire to return to elimination. You can't be serious. <laughs> I'm hoping that. Uh, I, I think it's, it, it's trolling. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this can't be for real. No, 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 no. Like we are never going back to that. Oh yeah, no. Jesus. Uh, anyway. Uh, make sure to put your questions in the chat. We will be like I'm always checking also the Facebook chat and YouTube chat as well. Like most of the questions repeat uh, on all of the platforms. And if you have any questions regarding the update that came out today, uh, feel free to ask. If we won't respond on this stream, you can always uh, share it on our social media or start a thread on Reddit or something. We are always listening to our amazing community team. And let's see, what do we have here? Also, like since we are already here, what do you guys think about the new elimination? And do you play it often? I like it. Yeah, I, I like it together with mm -hmm. with the with the new maps and it was not good one. Yeah, the new map was was a great addition. I'm less of a fan, to be fair, mm -hmm. but. Oh well, I don't have to love everything we do. In I hate I hate <laughs> uh, snow and and cold weather. So <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, Jesus, I wanted to say something. I don't know. Yeah, uh, we were actually looking at the data uh, with Jonas, our okay. analyst guy, and elimination is is actually quite popular. Yeah. In fact, like two times more than shootout now. Yeah. It used to not be the case. Like exactly. elimination was always a bit more popular than elimination, but mm -hmm. yeah, now since since the new elimination, a lot of players are playing it. So yeah, yeah we have mixed feedback on that because when we look at the data, we see that players are actually enjoying it more mm -hmm. than before, and when we look at uh, the feedback, players are saying, "Yeah, bring back the old one." Oh, it's like mixed. So yeah, I it's guess it's 
kind of okay. But it it actually makes sense because the the more people are playing, the more people we will have opinions mm -hmm. and and will provide feedback. So it's actually good that we are seeing a lot of those discussions because first of all, it can help us uh, tweak it. Second of all, it's it's obvious that you guys actually enjoy to play it. Mm -hmm. You just would like to see some improvements, which is fair, I would say. Scared why I don't see don't don't hear the sounds. <laughs> oh yeah, we haven't played. No, 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 it's, 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 it's fine. But I mean, it's like okay. you are all, already playing without your glasses. Yeah, and I, have, I, have, <laughs> like, I have. I have. I have excuse. I have excuse why why <laughs> I decide. So I, guess you're, you're I, I made one, but with yeah. green's gun that counts for two. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh. What was okay. nice uh, after the elimination because you will be playing for a while, so uh, we can move to yes, something sure. else in, in the meantime. Nice. Uh, we were talking about the legacy season, but I think that we can wait until we get back into the shelter yes. and and go through it. Mm -hmm. uh, same with the new premium pack. Uh, we can also save that for later. But I had a few extra notes. I believe I just have to find them. Uh, because Archie, uh, our QA lead, actually was also mentioning some stuff that we really shouldn't forget uh, yeah, to discuss a bunch in the stream. Minor uh, Minor fixes, I would say. Uh, for example, the scope is no longer outlined through yeah. objects. Yeah, we had that bug that we had a bug where uh, if you had a scope weapon, you would see the the. How's it called? The lens? The lens of the scope? Mm -hmm. uh, in tr by transparency through the character, so this is now fixed. Uh, I don't know if it bothered a lot of people, players or not, but mm -hmm. uh, it didn't really look good. It was clearly a bug, so we fixed this. Mm -hmm. sure. uh, what's the next one? <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, yeah okay. be, being stuck yeah. in the waiting loop. Yeah, in yeah. twelve mm. there was a, a bug where you would, uh, when you would uh, gain a shelter level, you could be stuck on a waiting, uh, infinite waiting screen uh, in the shelter. While, uh, and that was a bug. Like, that was not. It was just infinitely loading, but nothing was happening in the background. So yeah, now it's fixed. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Back <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I should go into the details with this one. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the um, never ending um, shelter improvements. Yeah, that's yeah, the that's one, the, that's the one right? Yeah. Uh, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just was I was looking through the chat and, okay. uh, uh, yeah. and then it suddenly struck me that I wanted yeah, to then say there that. Was uh, uh, two challenges that were buggy. Uh, the first one was a gift from above, which is the very first uh, story challenge. Uh, the challenge asked mm -hmm. you to open the first airdrop crate, mm -hmm. but we had bugs with challenges at the beginning of 12.0. Uh, the result was that you could open that crate and that wouldn't complete the challenge and you would be stuck with that challenge for a while. So what we, we've done uh, in 12 is that we've hot fix Hot fixed mm -hmm. uh, most of the issues with challenges, or mm -hmm. all of them, I would say, even like that we could fix from the back end. Uh, and we disabled the gift from above challenge because it was uh, too buggy. Uh, but now we are reintroducing it, and the challenge will actually compete with any crate, so mm -hmm. it's now much more robust. It's like re you will be able to complete the challenge no matter what so we decided to to bring it back because it's mm -hmm. it's nice for new players newcomers to be able to uh, like it teaches new players about the crate mechanic and how to open loot boxes and such mm -hmm. and the second challenge that was buggy mm -hmm. is the challenge where you uh, it asks you to build a shelter improvement but the challenge was picked even when you had your shelter maxed, so it was not oh. possible to even complete that challenge because mm -hmm. you couldn't build a new improvement because you already built all of them. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, we changed the logic and now it's not picking that challenge if you already have a maxed shelter. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. But same thing, new players can have that challenge and Mm -hmm. Complete it, and it's nice because it like encourage them to uh, 
go go in encounters, gather resources, build shelter improvements. So yeah. Uh, someone is commenting, uh, getting a kill with a knife should be worth a five gold crates and five shields. <laughs> I mean, it's a challenging challenge, what can I say? Yeah, well, uh, you, you, you can reach out to our design team, they are in yeah. charge of the balance, so mm -hmm. yeah, that's definitely... <laughs> Next time there is a designer on this stream, you can, you can tell them. <laughs> or you, you can tell them to finish the challenge, to prove their point, that it's possible. Yeah, also that. And I mean, it happened a few times on, a few times on the streams actually, like to get a few kills with knives. I mean, it's possible. Yeah, if you're trying, yeah, it's yeah. possible. <laughs> <laughs> like if you're trying long enough, everything is possible. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I think that we covered most of the main talking points from. Yeah, um, there is one more. Yes. A uh, thing that I have on top of my mind, which is uh, we have added a battle pass XP to the elimination crate because yeah. mm -hmm. we've had some feedback that players would rather get a sp uh, special issue crate and mm -hmm. like not get the max score they could get in elimination and mm -hmm. instead like try to stall the game and yeah, it's not really fun and to try and balance this. Uh, now the elimination crate will also give you one thousand uh, battle pass XP when you mm -hmm. open it to balance things a bit more, mm -hmm. which is really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, I'm glad that we managed to cover like most of the new stuff, cool. but I almost forgot about all of the like um, our announcements for the community. So our marketing team will oh, probably yeah, have. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, since we released a new update, um, and I'm sure that not all of you have had the time to play today or like during the work week, so we will be having another booster apocalypse over the weekend when you finally have time to play, uh, to check it out, so you can look forward to a oh, I booster can apocalypse. And sorry, I can break the lock. Oh yeah, so yeah. that's the new lock mechanism. Uh, so now you can spend crowns directly mm -hmm. uh, in the match between rounds to unlock a special uh, loadout if you want to. That wasn't timed right. Oh, because I was oops. actually showing the picture for the booster oh, sorry. Uh -huh, sorry. And, <laughs> like I tried to switch it as, as soon as possible, but sorry. you will have to do it one more time and <laughs> tell me in advance, please. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, well, there will be still um, one more. But I think that you more. guys probably get the memo, I mean, how, how it works. It's yeah. like our sorry. UI skip, so it's self-explanatory. Uh, anyway, yes, Booster Apocalypse uh, this weekend. Um, I'm sure that you will be trying out a new update and at the same time you can also enjoy 33% off on all boosters in Shootout. So yay! Uh, that's it. Other than that, uh, with today's update we also started our nuclear summer sales. Cool. So there are some really cool things. I absolutely love it, like the the bucket hats and and stuff like that. It's, it's yeah, so the cool. the weapon skins are really cool. Oh yes, I think that one of our partners really liked them. Mm -hmm. Or like generally, like everyone who tried them. But uh, we received yeah. a lot of positive feedback on that. They really pop out nicely, especially oh, on darker yeah. guns. I think that it was Chola's first. Uh, yeah. Okay. Make sure to check it out. Uh, and. Last but not least, I wanted to mention the premium pack, but we can right. get back to it later. In one or two rounds, mm -hmm. I guess. <laughs> and yeah, between rounds we'll be able to show the new uh, booster Break, that yeah, the, yeah, breaking the new the lock, break exactly. lock booster. Um, and in the meantime, I will also check out our... Uh, uh, now, nice. It's coming, yes. Okay, I see a question. Can you fix the ready of bug and encounters? Uh, you will need to be more specific. Yes. Because I don't know what you're mentioning. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's quite... Wrong. generic. Yeah. Uh, anyway, someone is also like asking if we can remove raincoats and I don't know if they mean like the actual <laughs> outfit or the people and I, I guess it's the worst option but like... So what would the new Outlanders wear? That's uh, yeah, yeah. They would have I to run around naked, idea. and that's not okay. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. How does the new stagger work? Okay, I'll, I'll repeat 
that quickly. Uh, mm -hmm. Basically, you will now retain the control of your character, and instead you will be granted a few debuff, uh, mm -hmm. increased weapon spread, slower movement speed, uh, blurred vision, uh, and that kind of stuff. There is probably more, but I forgot. Uh, so yeah, so now you will just you will be able to like, mm -hmm. fight against the person, the player is staggering you, but mm -hmm. uh, you won't just lose completely the control mm. of your character. Yep. Okay. So, yeah, this is how the new break lock works. So now you can break the lock directly in the match. So, yeah, if you feel that you should, uh, if you need more uh, good loadouts, you can just pay between rounds. Uh, so, yeah. If you feel you're too much at a disadvantage and you didn't boot bought any tickets uh, during the lobby, you can still try and do something to win the match. Mm -hmm. If your match is really even, you get some little advantage. Oh, like, okay. Yeah. I'm always dying for matches, like everybody else. Um, we have a question from YouTube actually. If they have to wait for 14 hours to get the new challenges, because with the update they actually didn't reset for them. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. If you have like active challenges, then you have to wait. Yeah, yeah. we didn't re-roll the challenges that were already assigned to players mm -hmm. today, because like what... Like what the, if you want to actually... What if someone that? was yeah, close yeah. to get the like... Yeah, yeah. Mm, Non, like, yeah, you will start getting the new challenges from tomorrow, I guess, mm -hmm. if you played before the update landed. If you play now, you will already get new challenges today. Mm -hmm. Nice. And I, I can see that, like, many people are discussing a lot of new things, uh, the drop shooting, for example, uh, mm -hmm. the report system, uh, stagger, stuff like that. Uh, I mean, it's, it's clear, even from the chat, that you are divided, so make sure to start do the, those discussions also on our social media so make you can polls. actually yeah <laughs> ma make polls for example on reddit is absolutely awesome um first of all give it a try well yeah. yes that's, that's the important <laughs> part give it a try see how it feels uh and after you try it out uh make sure to bring it up online first of all we will see it so we can actually like discuss it with the team do something about it and you will most likely like oh. attract attention. Sorry to interrupt you, but we have the new sequence after the oh, elimination. Oh yes, which no, is probably one of the most polished things yes. we have in the game now. That's awesome. Also, I don't know if you mentioned it already, but mm -hmm. uh, once uh, somebody from your team in the elimination, let's wait mm -hmm. for the sequence. Oh. Nice. Yeah, it, it looks awesome. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Nice. So but, uh, basically, if, if somebody from your team is disconnected or left the, the elimination match, uh, mm -hmm. you will not lose uh, his points, I believe. Yeah, yeah exactly. And, and you can see it even in this on this yeah. screen because yes. uh, in the enemy team, one person was uh, disconnected mm -hmm. and their points before they got Being disconnected counted. are... Uh, are counted in the final result. Mm -hmm. Nice. So Everyone is loving the new sequence, so that's nice. <laughs> yeah, well, it's uh, difficult to hate. <laughs> yeah, I mean, exactly. Like, what can you hate about it? But at the same time, it's still the internet, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite sure people would complain about um, it either way, so. Anyway, yeah, I still wanted to. Yeah, we wanted to check out the new premium pack oh. and Legacy Season. So and I have more stuff, one more big fix to, to oh, nice. discuss. But I kind so of saw it. It's trappers. And then a bunch of smaller fixes. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Basically, I can I can roll through it. Basically, mm -hmm. nice backpacks, headwears, hats. Mm -hmm. Very nice PH M eighty two, and you can at the end of the of the legacy. Mm -hmm. uh, but once you can find also plan for it. Mm -hmm. Lava. Nice. Yeah, this I, I like this one. Sick. Yeah, that, that one was yeah. always super cool. Yeah. Nice. 
So gloves, mm -hmm. hats, more hats. Oh yeah, it looks super <laughs> funny that you like swimming glasses. <laughs> Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why do we cool. allow those things? Yeah, <laughs> I like anyway. it actually. So yeah, make yeah. sure to check it out if you haven't finished uh, season eight already. Yeah, and as usual, you can pick up here. where you left uh, mm -hmm. with the season. So if you already were like level 30, 40 something, yeah. it will just, you can just continue directly. Plan. And if yes. you already had the premium uh, before, uh, when the season was uh, mm -hmm. the current one, you can just, uh, you still own it. It's the same. Uh, mm -hmm. You don't need to buy it again. Exactly, which is also nice. Uh, can we move on to the premium pack? Sure. Yes, expedition absolution. Um, mm. So you can see it's packed. The pack is packed. Well, the pack my is packed. English is just. Uh, anyway, <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> uh, this originally we wanted this to be the premium pack for season twelve, like in update twelve point zero. Mm -hmm. uh, but we really wanted to polish it and and make it really juicy. So in the end, we waited until twelve point one to release it. Mm -hmm. um, if this is something you might like, make sure to check it out. And you can even see like how it looks in the shop. Yeah, it's really packed. There is and even like yeah, cosmetics yeah, and such. Like the the, the cosmetics looks great and that's mm -hmm. obviously like very exclusive because you cannot get them any other way. Yes. And um, then there is like a bunch of really good weapons, good cos mm -hmm. good consumables also. So yeah, it's a good pack. Yeah, I think definitely. It has good value. Uh, and what I also, you, you have did one thing, but before that I yeah. will just mention uh, another thing from our marketing team. We will be actually um, having a big meme competition coming your way. Um, it might or might not be also connected to the anniversary of Vigor, so make sure to keep your eyes on what? our social media. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, yeah, if you have any funny memes or if you want to create new ones, make sure to post them under the dedicated post. They will be on our social media in a while. Um, and yeah, that's that's what I wanted to mention. And you can go ahead, Johnny, because you had okay. something big for uh, us. Maybe before we uh -huh. jump on the stuff I wanted to mention, we can also show the last play played with menu. Now that you've played a match, we oh, can yeah, see sorry. some players maybe in there. Play domination. Yeah, so yeah, that's how it works to report other players. Mm -hmm. So you can go to that menu and you will see a list of uh, the players you've played with uh, yes. in the previous match. Mm -hmm. And it's actually a good system because you can obviously report players from there, but you can also make friends. Like yes. that list is really handy because now you will be able to come back from a match and be able to befriend players that you met in the previous match. So if you like them, if you, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you can like develop your social circle in the Outlands now thanks to that list. It's not just about the reports. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's almost like a social feature. <laughs> so just make sure to not report them if you like yeah. them. <laughs> that would be a bad move. Uh, but anyway, you can also see how the report um, looks yeah. like because there are actually multiple tiers. Of Basically. Yeah, yeah. So, well, it's it's yeah, like it's depending on <laughs> on the different, like, uh -huh. on what you think the player was doing wrong. And yes. you can, like, in, mm -hmm. in, I guess in elimination we will get quite a lot of AFK, AFK intentional sure. dying uh, mm -hmm. reports. Yeah, uh, this has been yeah. a big issue and it was brought up a lot on, on Reddit, on Facebook groups, mm -hmm. that everywhere that we should do something mm -hmm. about it. So this is like... Yeah, yeah. How will the report players work and will you look into the claims? Yes, uh, the, there is no automated system behind the report mm -hmm. system. Uh, there won't be like a some kind of rules that if you receive too many reports in a day or something, you will be automatically banned. No, there is nothing of that yes, kind. Yes, exactly. Um, the, we have a way to like see the reported players and like the volume of reports and then we will uh, probably build on top of that uh, yes. and yeah based on those we will be able to take investigate actions. but yeah the reports, it's, but it's it not be like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, human human work basically exactly. 
Right. Um, if you have any more questions, please put them in the chat uh, because we will be ending the stream pretty soon. Also, guys, is there anything else you wanted to mention? Or yeah, I actually wanted mm -hmm. to mention the biggest bug fix we did in this oh, update yes. and I completely forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's for my fellow play PlayStation players. Um, there was a huge <laughs> amount <laughs> of <laughs> issues with the saves and the loadout presets and the onboarding tips and the shooting range medals and all of these uh, all the systems basically tied to the save system on, on mm -hmm. PlayStation all of that was very buggy uh, there was some technical limitation of the console that we didn't take into consideration and mm -hmm. that's uh, not taken into consideration in the Unreal Engine uh, so we had uh, to implement a new, new safe system for the PlayStation. Mm -hmm. So we refactored the whole thing, and now it works. Uh, according to our test, it works greatly. Uh, like we haven't had any more issues mm -hmm. uh, with the safe system after that. So it means that basically all the bugs you have with the local saves resetting on PlayStation is now fixed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So and yeah. So that includes loadout presets, uh, titles not equipping correctly, that includes uh, discovered points on the map, that includes loadout presets, that includes the progression of some, uh, how is it called, mm -hmm. medals in the game. Uh, yeah, many, many things. Mm -hmm. So yeah, overall PlayStation, uh, the PlayStation version will be much more stable. Mm -hmm. Um, and we have one proposal or like an idea full color tracksuits like a golden one to match the golden skins the, sorry what? Um, <laughs> I was reading the chat <laughs> <laughs> so confused <laughs> and it has been a long day no 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 it's, uh, it was a funny uh, funny idea to make uh, tracksuits that will match the golden skins that we have for buttons so it would be like oh. a go golden set you golden, walking the golden outlander yeah the golden outlander which on one hand would look really cool and would be cool in memes and, and screenshots and stuff like that and also you will be like others will be able to see you like from across the map mm -hmm. so and it's well, like actually pretty hardcore yeah it would be called golden chat yeah but i don't know like <laughs> what would you have to do to actually earn this i mean like whoo jesus <laughs> like, i don't know <laughs> that's <laughs> this isn't for <laughs> like 50, also 50 kills in shoot out with shoot out with knife 50 let's in you single know, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Right, uh, anyway, it has been a long day, um, we released a new update, as all of you, because you have been watching this stream, already know. Uh, if you want to learn more about the update, make sure to check our website, biggergame.com, uh, for the article and the changelog, also our social media. Uh, if you have any feedback, reports or concerns, make sure to post it in the comments under our posts, or start a thread on Reddit, or on our Facebook groups. And if you really want to find out what is new, make sure to play the, play the game, I yeah. would say. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, thank you for watching, guys. Would you like to say anything to the community as well? I see one last question that we mm -hmm. can answer. Uh, a question about the raised volume of the Vigor Chronicle Absolution cassettes. Um, been been really and the question is, does this mean we more to collect if we already have them all? Uh, no, it doesn't mean that. Uh, what it means is that the volume when you would play the cassette in your shelter was quite low and it was difficult to listen to the cassette yeah. and now it's playing a bit uh, louder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially in, yes. in certain... It, it was really quiet, that's mm -hmm. for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. Especially in certain areas, uh, for example, next to water and, and when, when there are other sound effects it was yeah. difficult to hear. Mm -hmm. So that has been mentioned many times and we tweaked it so you can listen to these cassettes anywhere yeah the because the story is yeah really cool mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ready. anything from you Zbigniew? Mm, nothing in particular thank you for playing our game yeah ready see you thank you guys and we will see you on the next stream bye 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 bye